Last month, you remember I got a flare camera from Octopus Energy. If you haven't seen that video, check it top right. It's how to find the heat loss in your home. But why I had the camera, I used it to go over my Octopus Cozy 6 heat pump. I also went over the pipe run to my heat pump and the piping in my loft where my storage tank is and the radiator hot, hot and flow return pipes run through. So if you're one of the people complaining in the comments that my hot, hot pipes are gonna to lose tons of heat through the flow and return, then we're gonna see that under a thermal camera today. We're gonna to see how well insulated the Cozy 6 as a heat pump itself is insulated, how well the pipes are insulated, and bits that Octopus didn't insulate, which I've decided to DIY insulate. And we'll talk about whether that's actually worth it at all. So let's start off with the Cozy 6 unit itself. Now, as we can see from inside the Cozy 6, the pipes are not insulated. Now, this is not uncommon for heat pump manufacturers not to insulate the flow and return pipes inside their own casing, but Octopus don't have a metal casing. We have a plastic casing. Plastic is a better insulator of heat than metal. Metal will lose a lot more sort of heat through the surroundings and won't retain a lot of heat. So the plastic casing in Octopus actually does act as a layer of insulation where many manufacturers don't insulate the pipes at all, even inside the metal casing. Now, when we take the FLIR camera over it, we can actually see that the biggest loss of heat is around the seams where the front cover actually comes off with 7.2 Celsius. The cover itself is about 4.8 Celsius, but the background temperature is around about 2.8 Celsius. So all in good, uh, a good heat retention around the whole unit. And obviously the coldest part is at the top where the fan is blowing the cold heat transfer out of the heat pump. Now, when we go to the rear of the unit, we can see that Octopus's lagging is done to a very good standard. Apart from the drain off section here, we see a spike here of 23 Celsius and further down where the ice lasers connect on the Cozy's flow and return, we see 27 Celsius on my install. Now they didn't lag my pipes around the connectors here and that's usually because they want good sort of access to isolate that if they have to. The insulation that Octopus uses is quite sticky and we don't really want it to get in the way if we do have to isolate that Cozy 6 or change it or whatever in an emergency or, or whatever situation. Now some installs I've seen is a bit better lagged around here and there is other products that are specialist for lagging around stuff like this, which pre-made pre sort of cut out foam pieces for going around isolators. Now that is more expensive and also more labor intensive. And that would in turn pass on to you, the customer. And Octopus is all about trying to get the best lowest price for your install. So you get the best payback over the life of the heat pump. So whether you, you want to then lag it yourself, it's probably not that important. Now what I've done is I bought these Velcro tap protectors from Amazon. There's a link down below in the description. And because the Velcro, they can take them off at any time and they're meant to isolate outside taps. So it's absolutely perfect for putting around this uh, these outside isolator switches around the back of my Cozy 6. Now we move on to the run itself. Now many people asked, inside that trunking, is the pipework insulated? Well, of course it is. So they put it in insulation inside that and then it goes inside the trunking as well. Now we can see from the heat loss camera on the floor that the minimal heat loss from that trunking, from that insulated pipe is very, very low. So even though I have a very long run, the actual heat loss through it is very minimal. And Octopus have done a fantastic job at making not only a neat install, but also well insulating it because we've got very even heat readings all the way across it on the floor camera. Now, when we move into the loft of my house, you're gonna be able to see a lot of bits that I'm gonna comment on and a couple of tips and tricks I picked up while looking through the loft. Now, it's really important that when we see high temperature on the floor camera, so high readings of 23, 40, whatever we see as a high point, this is not actual heat loss. To measure heat loss, we'd have to measure the volume, the surface area, the air temperature, uh, and it, there's just a lot of very complicated maths. In reality, we're just seeing where heat's escaping from, but we don't know how much of that heat is escaping, and how much is being lost to the air around it. It's quite complex, but if we are looking to insulate and save to keep as much of that heat in the circuit as we can, and again, this does not improve cup efficiency, this is just improving the amount of heat needed, the amount of energy needed to keep the house warm. So if we keep more of that heat inside the pipe work, therefore more of it can translate into the house, therefore the heat pump does not have to run as long. 
Now, I've noticed that there's lots of high spots all over the loft, and this is where I have some DIY tips on how you can retain that heat back. Because if you're like me, even though it's probably an unmeasurable amount of what it's going to actually save you and keep off the cost of the heat code heat pump, it might just make you feel a bit better. Now, as you can see from the flow camera, the biggest heat maps here we can see straight away is around where the clips are. They haven't insulated around the clips or the isolator valves here. And before you get in the comments, and I can already see people writing now, Octopus could have spent hours perfectly shaping around all the clips, around all the valves, spending extra, extra time making sure that every single thing was within millimeter precision of all the clips. But that would translate into higher costs of install for you and also there's people on accredited schemes that fit heat pumps that charge way more than octopus do and some of them don't even insulate around the clips in loft spaces so don't get too excited about that because the actual heat escaping from those areas even though they are showing up red hot like i said before is a bit, quite a minimal amount so don't get too sort of excited about it now you could if you wanted to wrap them in insulated foil afterwards yourself maybe cut a little bit of foam out yourself and reshape it if you really wanted to have spend a little bit of diy time i decided to spend my diy time insulating the largest volume areas that weren't insulated which we'll get to now now the largest area that glowed up really hot was around the pump area so obviously on mine I have a buffer tank with a separate pump pumping around the system and that pump glowed up very hot now you could argue that Oxford could have bought the pre-formed insulation part from Wiro to put around this actual pump they make a pre-formed case yet it's almost impossible to source or buy from absolutely anywhere i managed to find one place online that sold it and they wanted a ridiculous amount for it and a ridiculous amount for delivery charge so it must be a very uncommon product bought by anyone including other money for other heat pump fitters so therefore probably don't worry about it too much but i decided to buy some insulation wrap foam from amazon link again down below in the description if you want it and some foil tape so i could tape it on now i tried to wrap it as best i could to, to try and retain as much as that heat in and because i had some of this foam left over we used it somewhere else in a bit what i'll say but i also wrapped around some of the large sort of like exposed pipe work area around where the buffer vessel is and put to, put some tape around that and then i also used the foil tape tape up any gaps and joints that I thought might come loose over time or weren't perfectly sealed tight against the fo each foam cut out. So I tried to use the insulation, the, 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 the basically foil and aluminium insulation tape to sort of seal up and push some of that insulation foam so it's nice and tightly butted to each other. Now the next bit that was going up was the filter. Now if you don't know what this filter does, I'll quickly explain, it takes the water going through it and it has a massive magnet in it that gets rid of any bits that might be floating around in the system and it also has a sump in it to get heavy bits that aren't magnetic and it basically cleans the water as it goes through basically keeping the system and anything going through the heat pump as clean as possible not to clog the radiators up not to clog the tank up and also not to damage the heat pump so it can work at full efficiency so a really good idea there's also a Y strainer inside the cozy six itself but we're talking about heat loss today on the floor so on that thing, there is a preformed case, again, like the pump. And again, crazy price, almost impossible to source anywhere. So I use that insulation uh, wrap I've got with that, with that uh, foil wrap. And I basically wrapped it around and taped it up as best I could to try to retain, again, as much as that heat I could. Now, I'd be interested to know, have I wasted money buying these products off Amazon? Or will I actually see a cost benefit to, to what I pay for these products back over the course of the next 10 to 15 years? I'd also be interested, are you going to be copying any of the things I've done today on your Cozy 6 and fitting it yourself? Let me know down below in the comments. If you want to know more about the Cozy 6 or learn more about the Cozy 6, don't forget to click subscribe, click that notification bell and check out this playlist of Cozy 6 videos right here.